Hello everyone and welcome to day four of Tap Into Your Financial Power. So yesterday we did some money tips about how you can start activating the law of attraction. But today we're going to be working again with Archangel Ariel, the money angel, and Archangel Gabriel, the angel of work and career, to see what we need to know. So thank you angels. Well, look at that straight out of the depth there. No messing about. What do we need to know, please, angels, on this day? Well, love it. Love it. So the first thing we've got is exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. And we've got authenticity. Wow. So the angels are saying to you, exercise today because that will increase your energy. It will build you up. And when you're feeling energized, you are able to create better because you feel stronger. You feel more alive, more in tune with heaven. You feel more connected to the divine. And that's what the power of manifestation is. It's your connection to the divine. It's you feeling like you've got the world in your hands, that you create your reality and you create your world. And Abraham Hicks talks about this all the time. You know, you create your world. It doesn't matter what's going on in the world around you. What matters is the world that you're creating within you. So the world could be falling apart, but if you're building your world within you, then magic starts to happen and miracles fall into place and the world that seems to be crumbling will rebuild into something new. So this is you tuning in with your perfect psychic power, your knowledge, your intuition and molding it all into one. And you can create, you know, you can create whatever you desire whenever you want to create it now. The power is in the now. And they show me this like the world there is an energy ball. And you create your visions as intentions like an energy ball. So imagine you're creating and molding right now a ball, you know, like you're holding a ball in your hands and you're molding this ball into place. You're putting all your desires, all your dreams, everything you're wanting into this ball. And then when it's ready and you can feel it created, you push it out into heaven and it goes up and it gets manifest. And that brings in power and it brings in strength. So the world is in your hands. So first of all, when I'm tuning into this card, the angels are telling me that right now the world is in your hands. And, you know, we've spoke about partnering up with the universe to rebirth something new for a new beginning, to ask for your needs to be met because now is the time to be creative, to get in tune, to tune into your world. And the angels are saying it will bring in peace. And most of us want to feel at peace. We don't want to feel stressed over money. We don't want to feel that things are falling out of place or are getting out of reach. We want to take control. So this is a real message today to take control. And when you exercise and move your body, you feel energized and you feel better and you're more prepared to create. The key to manifesting quickly is to have high energy levels and the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll look forward to exercising and it becomes its own reward. Now I'm not saying you've got to you know stop lifting weights and running around but just moving your body, you know, dancing around, doing yoga, anything that moves you around a little bit. Thank you. And they're giving me fear. Thank you. So the same, when you move your body, it's going to release fear. Wow. Amazing. Because they always give me fear energy as burpee energy because it comes from the solar plexus. And this area is where you start panicking a little bit. So if you're panicking about the future, about money, about stability, it can affect your stomach. And you know that if you start having worries, it affects your stomach. Maybe you have diarrhea or you get constipation or, you know, you just get aches or, you know, rumbles in your stomach. It just doesn't behave right. So you get all this 
energy coming up into the, you know, your esophagus, which is connected with acid reflux. So it comes out as burpy energy. So if you need to release any fears, any fears or concerns about your financial situation, the angels are saying when you move your body, not only do you increase your manifestation abilities, but you release anything that's pent up within you, any fear, any frustration, any doubt, any worry. It all comes out. So if you find you're moving your body and, you know, you start burping or you start, you know, acid starts coming up, it's a good thing because it means things are being released. So the angels want you to release things today. Things that are no longer serving you, move your body because it's going to help you to create. And when you're setting intentions and you've got a clear vision of your future and the things you're wanting to create it brings in power so there's a lot of power and a lot of strength we've also got authenticity and this is about being you you know being you you don't have to change for anyone when you're truthful and authentic you thrive and you shine so this is about you tuning into who you naturally are not pretending to be somebody else not trying too hard for anything you know maybe you've been stuck in a job there isn't you anymore and now the energy of the world's changing to thrust you forward to where you truly need to be to your authenticity Trust that your real self, whom God created divinely perfect, has the strength and knowledge needed for this situation. So you have the strength and the knowledge and the wisdom and the insight to move everything forward for you, to do what you're being guided to do, to move forward to the life of your dreams, to manifest and create your abundance, to bring in financial freedom, to tap into your power, to realize that you are an unlimited being and that you create your world. So trust in that today. When you're being you, you're you. And there's nothing more powerful than the real you so be you, don't hide behind a mask, don't pretend to be someone you're not to please others or to gain a status in society, instead trust in who you are and know that when you're you, you'll automatically gain that success and that status in society and you'll be loved for who you are, so start tuning into you, go within and tap into your authentic power and trust that you're on the right path and I know that because they just showed me 717 which is being on the right path and you know you're very loyal right now to yourself, to your family, to your friends and to your lovers, so give that loyalty to heaven Trust in heaven, understand that you've been created perfectly for your mission right now and you're now on the right path on your mission, moving forward fearlessly towards the next stage of your life. So take control today, be authentic, be strong, stand in your power, realize that you are a creator and you create worlds, you create your world, it's time to align your physical world and your spiritual world, bring them together, create your manifestation, your intentions, send them out into the universe and trust that they are being created and will come back to you fully manifest. So a great time ahead for you move your body, release fear, energize yourself, do things that lift your spirit to make you feel good and then you'll start feeling better, more authentic, more true to you and everything else will start to fall into place. I hope you've enjoyed this, sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.